Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We give God all the glory. Let God be praised in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They envy you a lot, child of God. They envy you a lot. But they don't even know how to call you back. They don't even know how to call you back because they have burned the bridges. They have set the bridges on fire. The bridges that connected you both together. The bridges that lead you, that lead them to you. You know, that comfortable bridge that you put and you said, well, you can pass it and come to me whenever. They choose and they put fire and they burn the bridge. Now they can only see you from afar, full of envy. They don't know how to call you back. They don't know how to call you back. Right, that child of God? Someone miss you so much. How can they call you back? How can they call you back? One thing that I know that if somebody can put pride aside, he can repair whatever was damaged. Even if it's a relationship, it is a marriage, it is whatever, it is friendship, it is job, it is whatever it is. Ministry and all of that. If somebody can just put pride pride aside and choose to be humble and say well i will rebuild this i will rebuild this that i have destroyed i will walk towards it i will bring it out make it beautiful again i will apologize but they will not that is why the bible say pride comet before it fall see a man that is so prideful see a man or a woman that see themselves above others for are with them for are with them the bible says he resists them and he give grace to the humble hallelujah yes now they miss you so much but because they are full of pride and ego the bridges that they are born they don't know how to start rebuilding it if they will allow love to soak into their heart, if they can just remove their ego, a broken heart, a broken spirit, the Lord will not rebuke. When somebody humbled him or herself before God and said, God, help me to build back this which is destroyed. God will bring that person back. Because he did not come to condemn anyone. He came to correct us. He came to save us. He came to restore us. But they have chosen pride over humbleness. The Bible made it clear. It said, light has come. It said, but men choose darkness rather than choosing light. Rather than choosing light, they choose darkness. They are like, no, there will be no peace. I choose war. Have you seen that? <laughs> like, you preserve peace. They are like, no. We don't want peace. We want war. Now they miss you so much. Someone is dying to speak to you again. <laughs> when I say that this person, you are like a mother here. You cover a lot. You cover a lot. Despite the betrayer, you still cover a lot. I pray may the Lord cover you. With his grace in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye bye.